My favorite beach, Terre d'Eau. This is on the island of Terre d'Eau. Terre d'Eau. <laughs> in Guadalupe, <laughs> in uh, the Caribbean. French speaking, of course. Beautiful place, Pan de Souk. And we arrived by cruise ship on the Seaborn Sojourn. So it was a beautiful day. I think we were one of the first ones out on the tender. And uh, we had the tender all to ourselves. They took us over, took a, what, about 15 minute, 20 minute ride to the little town. We wanted to get there early to get a, a little golf buggy. And I'm glad we did leave early because most of the places seem to be closed. So but here we are heading off. There was one place that was apparently open and it had the best selection of the electric golf carts, which is what we were after. And it had uh, the best number of stars and reviews. And this is a beautiful little town. This was Sunday morning, so it was pretty quiet. This is Aqua Blue, the guy with the uh, golf carts. This was the first time for this uh, renovated or new golf cart to be rented out, and he wanted it back in pristine condition, which made me a little nervous. So it's about $80, <laughs> no, 80 euros per day, maybe $100 or so. But they're really fun to drive, very quiet, and a beautiful way to see the island. So I'm glad we did it this way. And uh, if it's jerky, it's probably my hand rather than the golf cart. So our ship is out there, out in the bay. You can just get glimpses of it. There. That white <laughs> one. <laughs> and then this is where the road starts heading up the hill. And it was a steep hill. So it's about a three kilometer walk from the port. And it gets steeper as you get closer. You get some beautiful views, but I don't think I'd want to walk. But we did see quite a few people walking all the way from town. I felt sorry for them and wanted to give a couple of the older folks a ride. So the thing is, you have to park between the lines. Otherwise, you get a ticket. And there aren't very many parking spots up here. This is a little restaurant on the rocky trail down to the beach. It was very ro rocky and you had to watch your footing. Are you coming, sweetie? But um, I figured it would be easier. I always find going up easier than down. There's not a lot of maintenance, but a lot of traffic. We saw quite a few people, especially towards the afternoon. The beach started getting crowded. So here we are. We arrived early, and there were lots of spaces in the shade and out of the water. And uh, that was a treat because it does get very busy later. So this was the we had read that this was the best spot to go for a snorkel trip, um, for a day trip, and this really proved to be a great spot. The water was beautiful, clear, calm, warm temperature. We really enjoyed this snorkel trip. No surges. There was no one else snorkeling, but um, we just decided we'd go around the headland Even though this is the most popular beach on the island, the visibility is clear, lots of live coral. We're out around, as you can see here, we're going around the point and there's no surge, there's no fire coral to worry about, pretty sponges and a few little fish difficult to catch them because they were small. I didn't have my camera working well. And we 
really enjoyed this half hour snorkel. There's um, a bit of coral, but it's pretty colorful. It's nice to see all these different um, algae and the waving fronds. That's soft coral waving. If you watch quickly, there's a little blue fish. There's a bit of coral there, too. Yeah, there's the fish, the blue <laughs> fish. We did see a few fish. We just didn't have the right zoom lens. It's hard to catch them on the GoPro. But it's pretty colors and uh, nice, nice scenic spot to go snorkeling. So those are the tube sponges. They're very colorful. I hadn't seen tube sponges before. When we got back in, I don't. George was very careful not to take frontal pictures of our topless neighbors. Yeah, very it's hard funny. to get a good picture because of all the bare-breasted French ladies, <laughs> and, and you can't pull out a camera. Oh, there goes the pelican. He was diving and fishing amongst the people. Yeah, he was just coming right beside people. Yeah, it's a popular spot for boating. And by the time we started to leave in the afternoon, there were quite a few people. Both on the beach as the tide came up, and there were a few on the trail. And what I figured would be an easy trip up wasn't too easy. <laughs> But once you get up, it's a beautiful island to take a little drive around with the golf cart. And that beach would have been just jam-packed full of people if the trail wasn't that tricky, I imagine. So the day we were there, this was in December 22, and it was in the middle of the World Cup series. And this is a French island. And I think the French were doing pretty well because there was a lot of noise coming out of that bar. This little beach is a beautiful little beach right in town. It would make a nice walk on its own. It wouldn't be that good for uh, snorkeling because it's sand and it's packed with small boats. So that's a, we had a great snorkel day on this Terre d'Eau. There do you.